Welcome to uh, this first tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to cover basically um, how to set up IP addresses on Cisco router interfaces and how to test for basic connectivity. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, three routers here set up one over a serial link and the other two connected over a crossover cable on the fast Ethernet. Um, we're going to start off by configuring router 2 and let's power it on as you can see the image is self decompressing uh, you gotta give it a second to load and we're gonna enter the node because we want to configure the router manually um, to be able to access privilege mode we have to type in enable hit enter um, now we're at router pound sign which is the privilege mode of this exact mode to be exact. Uh, we want to first analyze what interfaces are available to us. So we can do a show IP me, interface brief. As you can see, we have two interfaces available Fast Ethernet 00, Fast Ethernet 01. Um, the hardware, they both pass the hardware tests. Um, as you can see, they're both administratively down, and they don't have any IP address assigned to them. Um, to configure anything on a router, you have to uh, do it from global configuration mode. To access global config mode, you must type in config space T and hit enter. As you can see, the router prompt changed from router pound sign to router config pound sign, letting you know that you know you're in global configuration mode. Um, most of the time, uh, your best friend when it comes to programming a Cisco router is the question mark. Whenever you're not sure of a command or you, you need help uh, looking up something, uh, you always can use the question mark and it will give you a list of all the available commands You know, in that given mode. Um, since we're interested in configuring an interface, as you can see, you can use the interface command, which allows us to select what interface to configure. So, I'm going to type in interface. FA, which stands for fast Ethernet, 0 slash 0. I'm going to hit enter. As you can see, the router, uh, the prompt has changed to router config hyphen IF, letting you know that you've entered interface configuration mode. Uh, let's assume now that we don't know what the command is to configure an IP address on the interface. So, we're going to use a question mark again. As you can see, we have a uh, you know, list of commands. And by the way, uh, the majority of the commands here are these are just the, the, the more basic um, essentials the full iOS has a list of many more commands but since we're using a you know a, a emulation software basically is watered down to just the necessities um, we're interested in configuring an IP address so as you can see the IP command allows us to configure internet protocol on the interface so we're going to enter IP address space and we're going to enter the address that we want and let's assume we're going to use a 10 network address 10.0.0.1 and it's an unsubmitted network so we're going to use a 255.0 whoops 255.0.0.0 ok we're going to hit enter and you just configure the address on the router interface now uh, the router interface is still administratively shut down. The only way to uh, und you know to take uh, to bring it online is basically to negate the shutdown command. Um, you negate any command in this BIOS just by simply typing no, and you just type shutdown and hit enter. As you can see, the interface changed the state to up, but the protocol isn't up because the interface on the other side which is connected to has not been configured or has not been enabled. Um, let's go ahead and configure the interface on router 0. Let's power router 0 on. Go to the command line. Let's wait for it to boot and be ready. Okay, the procedure is basically the same enter global configuration mode enter the interface uh, mode enter IP address we're going to 
times to 10 times 0 to 0 to 2, the 2 by 5 times 0 to 0 to 0. Hit enter. Automatically configures our interface. Now we have to bring it online. And as you can see, the interface fast Ethernet 00, zero stay uh, changed to up. And the LAN protocol on the interface also changed to up, meaning that both uh, the state and the protocol are up, means the interface is ready to route traffic basically. Um, to verify this connectivity, we can use the show IP interface brief command again. And you'll see the fast Ethernet 00 with this set address is up and up. Now, if we want to test connectivity a little bit further um, to make sure that we can actually communicate with the other router, we're going to issue a ping command, which has to be issued from the router uh, pound sign command. Um, we're going to ping 10. 0.0.1 and we're going to wait for a reply. Yep, here we go. One of the original one failed because it was trying to establish a connection, but if we try it again, it should be completely successful. Um, well that basically uh, rounds up the first tutorial, just uh, configuring basic interfaces and just doing a basic connectivity test. Thanks for watching and tune in for the next tutorial.